What up, everybody? It's your boy, Agent, and we're back once again. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, NFL is still buzzing. It's still the off season. It is draft season right now. We are nine days away from the NFL draft. That is crazy in Kansas City. But breaking news today, reported earlier today, my Pittsburgh Steelers have made a trade. Yes, I didn't see this coming, but they have made a trade, like I said, nine days before the NFL draft. And this was a position kind of a sneaky need a little bit that helped them share some things. But they traded... For wide receiver Allen Robinson from the Los Angeles Rams. Yes. Still has received Allen Robinson, the seventh round pick, number 251, with the Rams getting the seventh round pick, number 234. And the Rams are paying two ten point two five million dollars of his remaining salary, while the Steelers are able only have to pay five million of his remaining salary. Now I think that's a win, and I think that that's what both teams need. Now I will say I think Omar Khan did a good job in this deal. But with that being said, let's talk a little bit real quick about Allen Robinson. He is from my hometown of the great state of Michigan. Yes, played at or one of the best high schools here, Orchard Lake, St. Mary's. Also played at uh, Penn State University, played for three years. He came out, drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars, had a couple good years there, had a, even a thousand yard season um, there. He had an ACL injury. Um, he wanted some money. Jacksonville wouldn't sign him. Ultimately signed with the Chicago Bears, played with them for four years, had two. 1,000 yard receivers had a, even a Pro Bowl year. Um, had up and down times in Chicago where he was the only guy there. Chicago didn't have any weapons. And as you can still see, the Chicago Bears are still struggling. They got Justin Fields now in company and they're starting to get back. But Allen Robinson was the was the go to guy and he caught everything. He's been Mr. Consistency. He's not gonna burn you over the top. He doesn't have home home run breaking speed. He's just he's just consistent when he's when he's healthy when he's been on the field. He didn't have a great year. As he as he signed with the Rams last offseason, didn't have a great year, only played 10 games, was in and out of the lineup, finished with 33 catches, three touchdowns, 333 yards, 339 yards, I'm sorry, 10.3 yards of catch. And it was a tumultuous season for the Rams after coming back from that Super Bowl season. Stafford was hurt, Aaron Donald was banged up, Jalen Ramsey was, you know, Jalen Ramsey as he's moved on to Miami Dolphins. I mean, it was a... Tough year for the Rams, and it just wasn't a good fit. Now I'm not gonna say he's a disappointment. Allen Robinson's only 29 years old. He'll be he'll be 30 before the start of the regular season. I think this was a good get to take a flyer on a guy like Allen Robinson, five million dollars for a veteran receiver who showed flashes and had a solid career thus far. Um, so I like what the Steelers have done with this this trade. Omar Khan, I think pulled one off. He he, I'm not saying gonna got got over on less need, but I think it was a good move. And as I've said before, a lot of people have said this is a sneaky need. For the Steelers, um, and I don't think they really want to go into the draft and draft a receiver. I can still see them maybe going to get a receiver, the sixth or seventh round, but not with not anywhere in the first, second, third, or fourth round. There's pressing other needs such as corner, defensive lineman, um, linebacker, um, even safety. I say that, but other sides of the ball need to be addressed. But it was a good pickup for them. Um, so we'll we'll see what happens. I'm gonna give this grade, and I'm gonna grade this out right now as a B minus. I think he can come in and be productive. We all know the Steelers have George Pickens. They have Deontay Johnson, who didn't catch a touchdown last year. George Pickens, like I said, is coming along. Um, Claypool is out of there. Um, we got we got Fireman. We got Gentry. But we need a, th a third guy really to take the top off the defense. I know we got Steven Sims, you know, whatever. Um, so that's going to that's gonna be a see. We need to see what we're going to see from him. So I think he can come in. He can play the slot, 6'2", 210, um, get you them hard tough yards, get you them catches over the middle. I think he can be very productive in this offense and, and help this offense out. There's nothing more but help Kenny and give him anything to make his job easier. It's, in my opinion, it's a, it's a low risk, high reward. So if we hit on it, cool. If we don't, then hey, um, I don't expect him to come in and have a thousand yards, or whatever, but I expect him to come in productive. The biggest question mark for this offense, one is, is the health of Calvin Austin, who we drafted out of Memphis last year. I don't know what he's going to give you. So I added Allen Robinson, a, a clear vet who's going to help come in here and contribute, get the job done. I like what he's done so far, and I'm I'm very happy with what Omar Khan has done this offseason. The draft is still to come. But I talked to you guys about what the Steelers done. Allen Rob Robinson will be a Steeler after he passes his physical tomorrow. So, hey, I'm here for it, and I like it. Let's keep going, and let's keep making some moves, and let's be different. So, draft next week. I'll be back next week to talk more about the Steelers. It's your boy, Adrian, and I'm out.